My name is Lincoln Jiro. I'm the project manager of the Mara Naboisha Volunteer Project. I'm Sarah Holmes. I'm a volunteer here at the Mara Project for African Impact. I didn't really have high expectations because I knew it was in the middle of nowhere. It's amazing to be in the Mara. This place is beautiful. There is wide open skies, beautiful savannas, beautiful animals. You see the animals in their home. You're on their territory. Being five metres away from a lion, you get to see them when they take a bath. You feel like you're part of it. You're with them when they're hunting or sleeping or resting. You just feel like, yeah, I'm there. I've witnessed this and it's just amazing. <laughs> You arrive, you get to see other volunteers, you get to sleep in a beautiful tent, comfortable bed, and that's amazing. Okay, the volunteers here in Nabo Isho, they get involved in real conservation work and real research work, for example being the game counts. Game counts in this place, we conduct them for the purpose of monitoring trends amongst the different species of animals and also helping us to establish the estimate population of animals within the conservancy. Any given day we could go out building roads, doing camera traps, planting trees at school, and we teach primary school children. So basically there's loads of stuff we do, we're always busy. The work we are doing here helps keep this nature, this wildlife, as beautiful and as great as it is now. That's kind of a kick. <laughs> I like it. We come back to the project whereby the volunteers sit down, they put together the photographs, go through a process of identifying elephants. Once that is done, then we upload all that data and those photographs to the Elephant Voices database. It's very, very important work. It contributes to a very big picture. I'm really pleased that my time and my effort is contributing to the preservation of the Naipo Show Conservancy. As a local person in Kenya, I think the volunteer project is good because it brings in skills, some skills which might not be available locally. And this is one place also you get to have an opportunity to interact with people from different cultures. The Maasai people, they're just the best kind of people. They treat you with respect. They, they have so much dignity about them. They just look wise and you know you can learn from them and they want to learn from you and it's just a great exchange. My name is Dennis Kotikash. I'm training to be a field guide in Koyaki Guiding School. So it was a nice day as we worked together with the volunteers, all of us. We were together as one family and we could share everything that is possible of us. I never thought I'd become so attached to the people that are here. I've never felt more comfortable. The social balance is just really good. I see the future of this conservancy being bright. I see this project grow together with the conservancy. Animal numbers, they are on the increase, and there's so many areas that needs to be worked on. That can just succeed by having more people here. So things are just looking to be on an upward trend. It's the best decision I made coming to Kenya. 